Welcome to the warm up as we continue to hit the Mac. We're in Fort Recovery today talking with the Indians. I'm Mark Coons. Matt Finkel will join us momentarily. Right now, let's talk with the head coach of the Indians, Brent Neekamp. And Brent, as we're talking, 10 years now, head coach for Fort Recovery. It kind of has gone by quickly. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. When, when it comes, I don't hardly believe it. And, uh, and when it comes up in conversation, people say, no, that, that can't be right. It's, <laughs> it's got to be three or four now. This will be this will be season number ten. What have you seen change from full recovery in that that decade now that you've been here as head coach? Um, more uh, more interest, more support, more um, more kids that that come into our program expecting uh, to be successful. More interest. What are the numbers like this year for the program? We're, uh, I think we're around 45 or 46 guys, which for us is a pretty good absolutely. number. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, coming off a, a three and seven campaign, always tough in the MAC. What, uh, what did you take out of last year's season? Well, we did some really positive things. Um, we had a lot of younger uh, skill kids playing last year that they got a lot of experience, and we went through some growing pains with them. Um, but we're hoping that they can come back this year and and. Uh, be a year better, a year bigger, a year stronger. Uh, we also, we lost a few of our linemen off of last year's team, but we still returned quite a few guys who, mm -hmm. who played significant amounts of football. So we're excited about those guys too. Yeah, certainly hoping that experience pays off now. Yeah, yeah. As uh, you take a look at the opener at home against North Union, then make the trip across the, the state line to Jay County, what are you hoping to get out of those two non-conference games? Well, um, they're, they're, uh, they're both going to be difficult opponents. Um, they're, they're probably a, a step up as far as our non-conference play has been in terms of uh, the competition level. Um, and with that, we, we hope come some computer points if we're able to play well enough mm -hmm. to win those games. A North Union's had a, a good program for a long time. Uh, they're a Division Five school, so they're a little bit bigger than us. Um, Jay County is a huge school. They're, I think they would be considered deep Division One if they were in Ohio. They're much bigger than we are. Um, so that, that's kind of uh, how those games are going. Also, the Jay County game is, is going to be big community-wise sure. be, because we're so close to them. Us and you know, Portland are so close. And we've played that school in just about every other sport. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a good rivalry there in basketball for a long time. So we're, we're hoping that we can ignite that in football also. You mentioned the computer points. Four recoveries never made the playoffs. That's something obviously is, is a big goal for this program. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's uh, we feel like that's the next step forward for us. Um, we we think that over the years that we've we've gotten to become a competitive program, um, somebody that that people have to take seriously. Uh, and and I think the next step, and we feel like the next step in that is is can we get to that 11th week? And that's that's what our kids have been working for, and that, that's what we're trying to do. We've talked about the experience coming back. What do you think some of the strengths of this team's gonna be? Well, um, leadership. Mm -hmm. we, we, we got 10 seniors, um, most of which have played quite a bit of football, and uh, they've, they've really, um, they, they've really, wanted to to take the reins to take control we had a lot of meetings this winter where we talked about leadership and what that means and how they need to to try to lead these guys going into the season and they've really embraced that so i'm, I'm looking forward to that and i've seen it already in practice so far it's interesting that you, that you say it went all the way back to the winter because i mean i think everybody's gotten used to the fact that you know there's a lot of things that happen in the football program in the summer months but you're telling me it's extending all the way back into the spring and winter as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, you, you know from talking to all, all these programs that everybody lifts all year long. That's just that, that's the way it is. And these guys uh, came to me in January, and they said, Coach, we need to start getting together, and we need to start, you know, watching some film, talking about football, and, and talking about what we want to accomplish. That was back, you know, at, right at the first of the year. What concerns you the most about this team heading into the season at this point? Well, always, always injuries and, and depth. That, that's just, uh, those kind of things can, can kill any team. Um, and, and 
and, and like like you said before, just just the uh, the quality of the opposition that we face all year is is tough. So it's tough to stay healthy mm -hmm. throughout all that. Now we're probably as deep as we've been in a long time, also. Um, but you know, when you have those those couple of guys that are really difference makers, and uh, they're important to keep on the field for anybody. You know, dealing with teenagers and dealing with the Mac, is it difficult to, to keep the psyches up towards the end of the season? No, no, they, because um, first and foremost, these kids are playing a game that they enjoy playing, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the, that's kind of why they're here. Right. They like to play football. They like to compete. They like to, to go out on Friday nights and knock heads with people. So it, it's it's neat that we get to the end of the season and it might be a good season or it might be a bad one, and these guys would go out and play the Chicago Bears and they don't <laughs> they don't care. So um, I think they just enjoy the experience, you know, being with their teammates, competing against somebody who's really a quality opponent, and seeing what they can do. Offensively, what are you expecting out of the Indians this year? Um, we we hope to. We hope to be able to run the ball pretty effectively. Um, we have Kyle Schreer, who played a little bit of running back for us last year, and Cole Hall, who, who we're planning on moving uh, and playing some running back. Those two guys are both pretty quick. Um, they're both pretty elusive runners. I think if we can do a good enough job up front, then, then those guys can be a threat. And then we also had Mitchell Stallman play some quarterback for us last year as sort of a runner. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, th I think that's going to be – important for us to for other things to build off of that quickly then defense what uh, what can we expect well hopefully we're we're very sound and, and very aggressive um we we made a few little tweaks to our defense but but very similar to the things that we've done in the past we're hoping our guys can really do a good job of understanding their responsibilities and then play really fast and very aggressive and pursue and tackle well all right, thank you very much, Coach Nikamp. We're going to take a time out here on the warm up. When we come back, Matt Finkel will sit down with some of the Indian players here in W. Back here on the warm up at Fort Recovery, joined now by Two Indians players, Mitchell Stammen, the senior wide receiver safety to my right, and on the end is Seth Regal, linebacker and right guard. Mitch, we'll start with you. How has the summer and training camp been going for you thus far? It's going good. We're out here working hard, trying to be the best people we can be. I mean, obviously everybody's learning. We're trying to teach the young guys, and so far we're getting through it. Seth, as a senior, you've had some good experience at the varsity level over the past couple of seasons. How has how are you using that to teach some of the younger guys and set an example in camp? Well, some of us seniors have been playing varsity for a couple of years now, and we use that experience to help them through, you know, get them through their freshman year. It's kind of difficult for them, and we use that to help them through. Mitch, coach mentioned he might play at quarterback a little bit, and, and he's looking to get that run game going. Is that something you're working on here in camp? Yeah, it's a lot of reading the defense and what teams will throw at us, depending on what they have to give us is who would play, probably will play quarterback. Seth, playing in the MAC, what are the biggest challenges of playing in one of the best conferences in, in the state of Ohio? The biggest challenge in my, my personal experience is the mindset. Everybody needs to have the right mindset that we're going to get, you know, we can get through this, we can play hard, we can compete. Would you agree with that? The mindset is Definitely. the toughest challenge? Once you get your mind through it, then everything else is easier. And Mitch, talking about the opener, you guys have North Union at home, and then you go to Indiana to play Jay County. What are you hoping to get out of those games before you get into that max schedule? Definitely get all the rust off our back. Just, like, get all the mistakes out of the way so we're ready to go by the first game. And Seth, Coach mentioned that you guys st wanted to start early in the winter and make sure you guys were together watching film, doing weightlifting. Why did that come about? Is that something that you guys are working to get better for, for now in August? Well, actually, us seniors came together and asked if we could do that in the winter, and we thought of that as a way to get early experience, you know, start learning earlier than we usually do and get a step ahead of the other teams. And, Mitchell, have you found that that has paid off for you so far early on in camp? Are you guys more cohesive because of that? Yeah, I feel like we're definitely a lot better shaped than the past years, and we're ready to go. We're more focused. Seth, what's your favorite thing about playing for Coach Kneecamp? He's been around here for a decade now, and I'm sure you've seen 
him as you grew up through the system and now coming up on your senior season? My favorite thing would probably be the organization of practice. We're always on key. We're always doing what we need to be doing. We're never slacking. What's the toughest part of practice? Uh, I Practice, you just got to get your mind into it, and everything else isn't too bad. Just as long as you're ready to go, everything goes by pretty good. All right, finally, Seth, do you guys have a rival in the MAC? Absolutely, St. Henry. And so St. Henry, you guys take them on uh, towards the end of the season. You'll be traveling there. What are you looking forward to about that game? Winning. Winning. Yes, sir. So there you go. Fort Recovery looking to make a statement in the MAC this season. Time for a break on the warm-up. When we return, two more players will join me. Third down here on the warm-up from Fort Recovery. Two more Indians players now joining me. It's Alex Shane on the on directly to my right and Nick Link on the end. Guys, seniors, what characterizes this senior class? We talked a little about it with Coach and the guys before. This seems to be a pretty tight-knit group. We are a very close group, and we've been together since the beginning. Good leaders, just a good bunch of guys. Nick, do you think uh, getting together a little earlier in the offseason as opposed to previous years has made a difference here? Oh, it, it has helped tremendously. Everybody is more mental for the season. We came out first day of camp, and everybody already knew what we were doing. We added some new things over the offseason to our offensive defense, and throughout the offseason, coaches worked with us, and us being seniors and leaders, we helped the younger kids, so everybody knew right away what they were doing. That's great stuff. Alex, you're on the line. Offensive line, also linebacker on the defensive side of the ball. What could we expect on the line this season uh, on the offensive side of the ball? Sounds like it's going to be a heavy ground attack, and that means you'll be opening up some holes. Yeah, we're a little smaller this year, but we got three returning starters, and we're just ready to go at it, go hard. Got some power on there. Nick, you're also on the line on both sides of the ball. Let's talk about the defensive side. What can we expect uh, from the line defensively? Um, within the off season. The last couple of years we've had problems with our pass rush. Our run defense has been pretty solid. It's going to be still solid this year. Our pass rush is going to be hopefully better. That's what we've been working on mostly. Alex, you've got a scrimmage coming up against um, Union City Community. That will be on the 15th. What are you hoping to get out of that leading up to week one? I'm hoping we just bring everything we got there and run through every, all our offense so we all know it, get ready for real season. Will it be nice to hit somebody else besides your own guys, Nick? Oh, yeah. I'm always looking forward to hit somebody. <laughs> it's a great feeling. Finally, you open up the max schedule against Anna, and then it's eight tough games from there. What's, what do you like about playing in such a tough league? I just like the competition. Everywhere you go, it's really good competition. Everyone's going hard. Nick, are you looking forward to a specific MAC game, or is everyone the same to you? Oh, I'm St. Henry is my favorite. That seems to be the big rival. I got a cousin over there that I always talk smack to him about it. So has it already started, even though it's not until uh, week nine for you guys? Oh, yeah. It starts day one. Well, that should be a big one here. Thanks to all of our guests at Fort Recovery, Coach D Camp. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. That does it for this edition of The Warm-Up. We'll see you next time on WOSN.